everyone, Ms. Kilroy here. Uh, today we're going to do some video notes, so all you have to do is write in the blanks that are missing from your notes. You don't have to write down everything. So we're starting off with Introduction to Chemistry, and we're going to talk about elements, compounds, and mixtures. Elements are anything on the periodic table, and more specifically, elements are a pure substance that cannot be separated into simpler substances by physical or chemical means. So it's the most basic unit. For example, hydrogen, iron, gold, oxygen, all of these are elements. And like I said, any one of these on the periodic table are elements. And then when we combine them, when they're chemically combined, they're called compounds. Compounds are a pure substance composed of two or more elements that are chemically combined. So for example, when you chemically combine sodium and chlorine, it's NaCl, and it's salt, table salt. Carbon and oxygen, carbon dioxide. CH4 is methane gas. So when they chemically combine, their properties are totally new. They're different from how they were um, as elements and they're chemically combined, so they're two or more elements. So for example, let's go back to salt. So sodium by itself, I showed you the video before how sodium explodes in water, and chlorine is a toxic gas. So individually, they're different than when they're chemically combined. When they're chemically combined, it's, it's table salt. You can eat it. So when compounds have different characteristics than their individual elements. Uh, mixtures is the third group we'll be talking about. Mixtures are a combination or, of two or more substances that are not chemically combined. So you can physically separate them. For example, you can pick out the walnuts out of your salad. You can take out all the M&Ms. So you can separate these. Even salt water, we can separate the salt from the water uh, by evaporating it, by using heat and getting rid of the water, and then you still have the salt. So you can separate those two. So mixtures, for example, like these ones I said up here, <laughs> and then air is also a mixture. It's a combination of all these different gases. My favorite mixture, Chex Mix. And then smoothies. So smoothies is a tough one. Uh, we will say it's a mixture because it's a whole bunch of stuff, strawberries, milk, kale, that are mixed together. Even though it'll be hard to separate them, they did not create a new substance. It's nothing new. They have not chemically combined. So therefore, it is still a mixture. So the difference between mixtures and compounds is that compounds are chemically combined and mixtures, you can separate them. Chemical reactions. This is an example of a chemical equation. Go ahead and write that down. So the reactants are everything on the left-hand side. So sodium and chlorine are our reactants. And the arrow is almost like an equal sign. It goes to, it'll make NaCl. So these are the products. The products, what is made is NaCl. And then in chemical reactions and chemical equations, uh, we have the law of conservation of mass. So in chemical and physical changes, mass is neither created nor destroyed. So however many, however much reactants we start out with, we need to have the same amount of products. So for example, if we mix 20 grams of sodium with 15 grams of chlorine, then you just add them up, it's going to equal 35 grams of NaCl. So here we have two Na's and two Cl's. Over here we have two Cl's. And in order to balance the equation, that's not what I wanted, I wanted the pencil. Can't figure it out, but I want to draw a two here in front so that we can have two NAs to balance it out over here. 
But overall, the law of conservation of mass, however much you start with, that's how much you will end up with. So 20 plus 15 is going to equal 35 grams. So we can't get rid of mass. We can't create it. However much we start with, that's how much we end up with. All right, that's it, it for the notes. We are all set. Thank you for listening.